morning fearless fam today is a very exciting video very different as you can tell i'm wearing makeup so that's your first indication that this is different also i'm filming on a dslr so this channel just got super fancy but the reason today's video is actually different and exciting is because we recently hit a thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for all the support and everyone who's hit that little subscribe button, this channel just continues to grow and I'm so excited to see where we are next year. As my way of saying thank you, I wanted to do a giveaway. Enjoy today's vlog and stay tuned to the end to find out how you can enter the giveaway and what on earth I am giving away. <laughs> Welcome back to the daily noon chat in the park. So I just finished filming the very exciting part that's gonna be at the end of the video. I'm really excited. I hope I'm not being like super naive as far as global shipping goes. <laughs> It's been a long time since I ran a social media giveaway. Remember how I built my resume up again and I applied to one job? So I wrote a really interesting cover letter. I hope I can read it to you guys at some point because I think you would honestly really, really enjoy reading it and it would shed some light on kind of how I feel about the last year. It's a really unique cover letter. I actually got an email last night asking me if I wanted to do a phone interview. So I already have a phone interview with the only job I've applied to. Honestly, I'm really excited about it because I'm genuinely passionate about what this nonprofit is doing. Abe's doing this thing behind me. Like, what are you doing? But I want to make sure that it's the right fit for my life and what I want because the last year I've been following my gut and it's served me really well and I want to do the same when it comes to this job. So I don't want to just like blindly accept an offer until I feel that it's the right fit. So I'm hoping it is. I really am because if I have a great phone interview and I love what I would be doing and I like the people I'm interviewing with and all that kind of stuff and turns out the company is like just as exciting as I'm expecting it to be then I could be working for a cause that I really, really, really am passionate about and feel super proud of, which is awesome because I just feel like in my other jobs, I have had to promote so many things that I literally don't care about at all, like not even a little bit. And I have to pretend to care and I hate doing that. I don't want to pretend. I don't want to lie. If I really, truly care about something and I that happens to be my job, that's like a really, really cool combination. So fingers crossed. Last night, Eric and I watched the Okinawa episode of Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown. I love that show. I want to be Anthony Bourdain sometimes. It was a really, really good episode. Um, it's on Netflix. But anyways, it got me craving Japanese ramen. I was actually expecting to find a lot more sushi and Japanese food and ramen and things like that in China than I actually found. So I now have a really intense craving for Japanese ramen. I pulled up a picture on Yelp of some really good looking ramen. I showed it to Eric. I was like, do you want this for lunch tomorrow? And he's like, yeah, why? I'm like, okay, we're going. So that'll be fun. Good boy. Let's bring it home. Come on, let's bring it home. You know what I think my favorite thing is about living in Hayward rather than living in San Francisco is the way it smells when I get up in the morning and walk outside. It smells like fresh earth and plants. It's wonderful. Also, there's so many birds here. The sound and the smell is like just awesome. When we lived in San Francisco, the smell was city, nothing. And the sound, lots of, lots of sirens and cars. So it's kind of nice to be in a suburb where it's like, it's quiet sounds like birds smells like trees and plants mm. it's a really nice change also I sent pictures of the house to Eric's mom and she referred to it as our mansion because of the way our apartments were in China she's like this is your new mansion enjoy like it is a mansion thank you I loved the stick so much we had to bring it home huh do you love it you give me that bye oh Good boy. We're headed to go get ramen now. This is interesting. So the Shumi Ramen is where we're going and it's inside this place called Lake Chabot Public Market. This is very interesting. Milk and cookie bar. Ooh, neat. And here's our ramen.
favorite part of ramen might be the soft boiled egg. <laughs> I got miso ramen and I added spiciness to it. So yum, I'm excited. Not quite Momiji. We used to go to this place called Momiji. It was like in an outlet mall type thing in Colma. It's like just south of San Francisco. And it has like, they have like the best ramen and they set the bar way too high. This is good. A little too spicy. Not enough like pork. -y. I'm gonna enjoy it though. Wow, I have not picked up the camera in like five hours. Honestly, nothing I was doing was very interesting. Like I said earlier, I have a phone interview tomorrow. So I was doing research about the company, just trying to, you know, learn more about them. And I was also browsing Craigslist for free stuff. Oh, um, I found a listing on Craigslist for a free coffin. I like how creepy is that? But at the same time, I'm like, just so curious. Like, why do you have a coffin? So apparently the most interesting thing that's been happening all day is food. <laughs> Because at last time I picked up the camera, I was eating ramen and now I'm prepping dinner. So tonight we're gonna have portobello mushroom burgers. If you've never had those, you should try them for real. So down below I've commented my portobello mushroom recipe that I use. It's basically like two recipes that I kind of merged together into what worked for me because I don't own a grill. And then we're also gonna do some baked red potatoes on the side. I'm gonna try to cut them like french fries, but I swear every time I try to do that, I don't know why, it's not that hard of a task, but I fail every time so wish me luck at my fry cutting abilities <laughs> mr abraham's just asleep on the couch i did contact a vet a couple of vets offices today and i made an appointment for him so in a couple of days we're going to take him in get a second opinion about his surgery if you don't know what i'm talking about click the link here and go watch the video where i explain why he has to get surgery i feel like i should play a sarah mclaughlin song in the arms of an angel I could have made this easy on myself. I could have gone out, you know, put together a little cool gift basket kind of thing and given that away, but no. I wanted to make this way more personal. So I am giving away a custom paper cut design. As many of you guys know, I had a period of time in China when I was living there, in Nanjing specifically, where I was obsessed with paper cutting. <laughs> to prove my point, let me show you how many I did in only a few months. Roll the clips. I even made a time lapse video showing you how I do my paper cutting. So for those of you who don't know, paper cutting is actually an ancient Chinese art form. Fun fact, paper was invented in China. Anyways, I learned the like traditional art of paper cutting. Most paper cutting designs are specific. They have traditional like Chinese designs. Sometimes they're kind of a Buddhist theme. They're, I think, always red. So what I took from that was, okay, I'm gonna take a modern twist on this. So I do pretty much all my designs in, bless you. I do pretty much all my designs in black because I like the way they look as a silhouette. I also love the idea of rather than putting them in a doorway or window and just kind of taping them up there, I love putting them in between two pieces of glass and framing them, putting them on a nice white wall. So the winner of this giveaway will receive a custom paper cut design. Basically, if you win this contest, I'm going to email you and we're gonna to work together on your design. If you just are drawing a blank, I'm gonna throw out my own ideas at you because I got ideas. I can do a custom city skyline of whatever city you love the most. If you have a photo you love, I can turn it into a custom silhouette design. If you have a company logo that you want done as a paper cut, we're gonna work together and make one that looks awesome just for you. Also in the package, I wanna include a few things from China because this YouTube channel has just been, you know, so influenced by China, I gotta put some stuff in there. A few little snacky items, and then I have a really awesome... One of those coin purses in there. Ooh. I also wanna include one of these irreverent coin purses from Library Avant-Garde from Nanjing. This one says, don't fall in love and me hypocrisy can we get married. So I thought that one was fitting. Also, I'd like to write you a personalized note on this sweet card. I freaking love this thing. I'm really excited. So yeah, that's what the giveaway contest winner is gonna get. 
handwritten note on here, custom paper cut design, this strange coin purse, and some Chinese snacks. Very random, but I hope you're excited about it. So let's get to the boring stuff, the rules. To be completely honest with you, I didn't have the rules set up, so I had to step away, write them, and now I'm back with the rules. All right. Oh, I got my dog joining me. Come on. Hi, buddy. In order to enter, you must be subscribed to my channel. That is Lauren Without Fear, the channel you are currently on. And you must comment below on this video with your favorite place that you have ever traveled to. And you can say your hometown, I won't judge. So if you're subscribed and you leave a comment with your favorite place you've traveled to, that is one entry. But you have the chance to get two extra entries. In order to get those two extras, you need to go like my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Lauren Without Fear, and to get your third entry, you can go to my Pinterest page, which is pinterest.com slash Lauren Sands Fear, and go to my very first board, which says Lauren Without Fear blog post. Repin any of those pins on that board, just one pin. If you like my Facebook page, if you repin one of my Pinterest pins, or if you do both, reply to your own comment down below on this video with your first and last name as it appears on Facebook and or whatever you do, your Pinterest username so that I can go check and make sure that you did it and I can count that as an extra entry. One winner will be chosen by random selection, which means that if you enter three times, so if you do all the extra entries and you have three total, you have a better chance of winning. The deadline for entry is February 7th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Are we in Standard Time? The daylight saving? I don't know. Sometimes they call it PST and sometimes they call it something else. I get so confused. February 7th, 5 p.m., my time. That's the deadline. And I'm going to announce the winner at the end of the vlog on February 8th, which is a Wednesday. I forgot to mention in the giveaway rules, this is open to any country that I can legally ship things to. However, if you win and you are in the US, I will send your custom paper cut design framed. If I'm sending it anywhere else, it's gonna come to you unframed. Unfortunately, the shipping cost is just too high once you add weight like that, um, but I will include a recommendation for what kind of frame I would you know, recommend that you use. If you have any questions about the giveaway, you can shoot me a message on Facebook, or you can comment down below with your question and I'm happy to answer. So do you guys remember how I've been talking about a super secret side project? It's honestly, I'm not lying to you, it's probably not the best idea for me to take on right now, but I'm just being completely open with you because I want to do it because I'm excited about it and I love making paper cutting designs. I'm opening an Etsy shop. It's going to be called LWF Creations and it's going to be up by the end of February. In my Etsy shop, I will have pre-made paper cut designs. I'll have ideas that are made to order. So basically like designs I've already done before that you can reorder and I'll have an option to make a custom design. So if you don't win the giveaway, but you really, really are dying for your own custom paper cut design, Send me an email to lornwithoutfear at gmail.com and we will work together on your idea. I hope you guys are excited. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you tomorrow. Oh God, this camera's so far away. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay, bye. Oh God, just hit me in the face.